Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying surface area and nets. And here I have the net of a cube. What it is, is if I drew this on paper, and then I cut it out and folded it here, I would get a cube. And then surface area, what's that? Surface area is the area of these faces of the cube, okay? You can use the net to easily figure out the surface area because you see here each face of the cube right here, just drawn out flat. And now here we're going to solve what is the surface area of this particular cube. Cube with edge length 2 cm. That's exactly what I have here. The cube here has the edge length 2 cm. And we can use the net now, okay? If you look at the net here, I have squares here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six identical squares, and those are the faces of the cube. And each square has the area of what? Two times two, or four square centimeters. So the surface area in total is six times that four square centimeters. 24 square centimeters. Now next we are gonna solve the surface area of this box or rectangular prism. Its dimensions are 5 inches this way, 1.5 inches deep and 2 inches tall. For the surface area we have to look at each face here, okay, and calculate the areas. Now since it is a box we know that the top and bottom are identical, right? And then these two ends have the same area, and then the front and back also. So that helps us a little bit. Let's take the front and back. The front here is 5 inches, and then the height here, which was 2 inches. So 5 inches times 2 inches, which makes 10 square inches. But there's two of them, the front and the back, so I'm going to multiply it times 2. So I have 10 here times 2, 20 square inches. Notice we're calculating area here, so I have square inches here. And then top and bottom. For the top, we have this dimension and this, okay? This here is 5 inches. This here is the same as here, 1.5 inches. So one of them would be 5 inches times 1.5. But there's two of them, top and bottom, so we multiply the whole thing times two times, okay. Now in this multiplication, maybe I multiply two and one and a half, which is three times five, gives me 15. And these are again square inches. Then lastly, the two ends. Okay, here I have one and a half times two inches. times 2, because there's both ends. So this is 3 times 2, equals 6 square inches. And now in total, the surface area, we add these, so we get 35, 41 square inches. 